What's up guys and welcome back for some more Pokemon Sun and Moon. In the last episode we beat the second trial and in this episode we're gonna be going to our third trial and if you come here you actually have to battle Team Skull and you also meet a new NPC and uh, I actually got my recording corrupted so that's why I'm not able to show that and I sincerely apologize for that and when you come here you have to battle Gladian and uh, Howe in a battle royale free-for-all and uh, it's actually my mistake, I never really save my games until I check if my recording is perfect or not. And for whatever reason, I saved my game that one time, and that one time my recording got corrupted. So, that's really unfortunate. And uh, here we are on Route 7. So, we're gonna be heading to Wella Volcano Park. And we are here. And I definitely wanna catch a Magby or a... Salandit, a female Salandit actually. Let's see, okay, we've got a Fletchling. Let's run, oh, we couldn't get away, what the hell? I guess I'm just gonna use a uh, double kick as this Fletchling uses Flail. And one more is gonna be taking out this Fletchling. Yep, there it goes. So, our opponent grew to level 20. That's nice. And let's battle this trainer. I think she has a Meowth. Yep, she does have a Meowth, so we do have Double Kick. That is probably gonna want to KO this Meowth. So I'm gonna go for that. Oh no, don't use Fury Swipes, like I have Stamina. That's just gonna prolong the battle. Why? And one more is gonna knock out this Meowth. Good. And Shigure grew to level 23. Everybody's pretty strong and she's taking a selfie after losing. What the hell? So let's continue on. And uh, let's go here. So we are on the top of this Volcano Peak, I guess. And we have to go here. Jump down and get this Zygarde core. And get this item, which is a charcoal. And we can go here. And there's actually a very good TM here. Oh, please be a female talented. Or a Magby. Ah, not a fledgling. Okay, come on, run away. Come on. Ah. That's gonna get a critical hit. Just gonna switch to my uh, Shigure, I guess. And then I'm gonna run away. Alright, there we go. And uh, I'm actually going to be putting John in front because uh, I want to catch a Magby or a Salandit, a female Salandit because you can only evolve female Salandit in this game. So it's pretty much like a combi of this gen. We found a Cubone. Just 
just gonna run away. And let's get this TM and it's Team 39 Rock Tomb, which is very useful and I'm gonna be teaching that to my uh, Epona. Munchlax can also learn that actually, but uh, gonna be replacing it with this move. And there we go. So let's continue on. And uh, actually, we should look for a Magby or a female talented. And uh, I think I'm gonna pause until I find one of those. Actually, I found one. Nice. So it's a male Magby, it's level 18, it's fairly high leveled, so definitely want to be catching this uh, Magby. Oh no, please don't kill yourself, please! Okay, good. And I'll have to use, uh... I'll have to use my Red Ball to catch this thing. Um, there we go. Okay, now, please get captured and don't attack yourself if you don't. Okay, don't attack yourself. Good. And I got burnt. Okay, that's all good. Just don't die. Just don't kill yourself. Okay, called for help. Please be a magmar. That would be honestly the best thing. Oh no, it's another Magby. Not a Magmar. And it's level 17, so we're gonna be attacking this level 17 Magby. It's gonna go down. And please don't hurt yourself. Okay, good. So let's use, uh, oh, he's gonna use, okay, please be a magmar this time, don't be a magby, oh no, this is stupid, it's level 16, that's, that's bad, I'm gonna kill this one, oh wow, it avoided because of smokescreen, and just kill John, like that, this is so annoying, you, this mag be such a rebel. Oh my god. So um definitely gonna be using Shigure and I'll have to kill that uh, level 16 mag be because you cannot catch like Pokemon when there are two of those there. And it snapped out of confusion, thank god. So, gonna use Great Ball. And go inside that, please. Oh my god, what the hell. And he's gonna be calling for help. Okay, his help didn't appear, thank god. Okay, um... Let's see, I'm gonna be using... I'm gonna go for a, a Pokeball. I know this looks stupid, but sometimes Great Balls don't work and Pokeballs work. Yup, oh my god, see? That's what I was saying. Like, sometimes Ultra Balls and Great Balls will fail you, but for some reason, like, normal Pokeballs work. I don't get why that happens. So, I successfully caught a Magby. So, that's good. And uh, Magby has become a part of our team. And definitely want to give him a nickname. And uh, this is actually going to be a reference to uh, K. 
Kid Icarus Uprising. And his name is gonna be Pyron. There we go. So Pyron has been added to our party. Nice. So now I can just put uh, Mudsdale in front. Not Mudsdale. <laughs> it hasn't become Mudsdale yet. So gonna restore its HP by using Super Potion. And gonna use Super Potion on this little guy as well. And uh, I think I don't really need to use Revive on John. Like John, actually I need to because otherwise he won't be able to get the experience through Experience Share. So I'll have to revive him. There we go. And uh, now I can battle this guy. Mostly trainers here have uh, Pokemon, which are fire type or rock type. So it's easy snack for uh, Epona and I can just use Bulldoze. This thing probably has sturdy. Okay, it has weak armor. <laughs> don't use multi-hit moves against Epona. Why don't people get this? It's gonna prolong the battle. Okay, only two times, thankfully. So, gonna use Bulldoze. And that's gonna kill this uh, Rog and Rolla. There it goes. And John grew to level 21. So he's gonna be going to Machop. And uh, I'm gonna go into John. So he sent out a Machop, and I do have Wing Attack. That's actually gonna do a lot of damage to me. He might outspeed. Nope, he does not. And there he goes. So we defeated him. And uh, let's battle this guy as well. And call it a day. And I'm actually gonna be using Repel now. Because I don't really need to catch any other Pokemon here. I got my Magby. Nice level 18 Magby. So he has a Kadabra. Hopefully this thing does not have energy ball or something crazy like that. Okay, side beam. I'm pretty sure Kona can take that. He does. That's almost gonna kill this Kadabra. And I'm pretty sure he's still gonna outspeed us and kill us because Kadabra is so fast. I actually used Disable. Good thing I used Stomp. He got predicted. He got predicted hard. And Epona is on level 21 right now. And Zabzilla grew to 21 as well. Nice. So I guess we can finally go- Oh, yes! Yes! Munchlax is finally evolving! Oh my god, finally at last! At last. 
This is so amazing. I've been waiting for such a long time. So it has finally become a Snorlax and I can use its uh, Z Crystal now. Nice. So I'm going to be giving him his uh, own Z Crystal, which he came with. Why does it say in incompatible? I I'm not sure. Um, I'm not too sure why it says that. I'm just gonna give him the Normalium Z, I guess, for now. And I'm gonna use uh, Super Potion on my... on my Epona and now we are good to go so let's go and uh, begin our trial actually we have to jump down I'm pretty sure uh, there is an item which I have missed so let's jump down here and there should be an item here because I saw it upon entering this area. It's a burn heal, that's it. Okay. And now we enter the trial and we have entered Totem's Den. I'm Kieve. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kiawe. I'm not sure if that's his, that's how you pronounce his name, but uh, I'm just gonna go with that, I guess. And I'm sorry if I'm if I'm pronouncing it wrong. You'll find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced to this point, but of course you will attempt it, right? Of course. Definitely, I'm ready. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin. So he has Alolan Marowax. So we have to see the pose. Okay, I'm gonna try to memorize that. Um, okay. The middle one is the... Is the odd one out. He wasn't doing that pose before. And now we have to battle him. It is part fire type, so that's why I have a Puna in front. Honestly, Alolan Marowak is so cool. So, gonna use Bulldoze. And he's gonna use Tail Whip. And just go for another Bulldoze. And there it goes. Marowak was so pleased by our right answer that it simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. Okay. Yeah, this hiker is in, in the photo. Uh, oh my god, no! I pressed show me again accidentally. 
My bad. I'm just so tired <laughs> that uh, I pressed that accidentally. The hiker. There we go. And uh, looks like we have to battle this hiker. Hiker David. And he has a Magmar. And I'm gonna use Bulldoze. It's gonna use Faint Attack. That's gonna do so much damage and that's actually gonna knock out Magmar. And Shigure grew to level 24 and wants to learn Bubble Beam. Okay, definitely. Gonna be replacing this Water Gun with Bubble Beam. And Pyron grew to level 19 and wants to learn Clear Smog. Um, it's a poison type attack. Definitely wanna replace it with Smoke Screen. And we defeated Hiker David. Good. My Hiker friend was so pleased by our right answer that he had to simply battle you. Onward to the final dance. Okay, let's see. So now the hiker is right there. The new Pokemon is the difference. It's a totem Pokemon. It's the evolved form of uh, Salandit. Salazzle, okay. Totem Salazzle. And his Pedef has been raised, but that's not really a problem because Epona is completely gonna annihilate this Totem Pokemon with Bulldoze because it's Fire and Poison type, so it's four times effective on him. And uh, he's gonna use Toxic on us. And this is actually gonna one hit KO this Salazzle. He didn't even get a chance to call his ally Pokemon. And Epona wants to learn Bite. Um, it's a bad move, so I think I'm gonna give up on that. And John grew to level 22 and wants to learn Air Cutter. And uh, Wing Attack is 60. And Air Cutter is 60 as well. Um, I think Air Cutter has chance to crit. Yep, so I'm gonna replace that with Wing Attack. You know, 95% accuracy is pretty good. No, oh, I guess only your starter does that pose after defeating the trial. Spectacular! With your keen observations, you were able to see even the fine differences in our dances. It wasn't even fine, but okay. And you defeated the Totem Pokemon with such ease. The Totem Pokemon was carrying Farium Z. It is yours now. And now Magby can use that. So we got this new Z Crystal and we have completed our third trial. This is how you use the fire type Z power. Okay, so he's gonna give us his cringy pose. Okay, not really that cringy. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these. Okay, so he gave us 10 quick balls now, that's some nice reward. What's more, you may now use the ride Pokemon. Oh my god, yes! Now we can use Fly. 
Now we can use fly. That's so amazing. The Farium Z, you should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of the Alolan Pokemon, Alolan people and our Pokemon and the true nature of Z power. The answers lie in our dance and so we must dance on. Okay, you do your thing. I'll do my thing. So thanks for the quick balls. And now we can actually use Charizard. That's so awesome. So I guess we have to go here. And uh, now we can remove that barricade. Oh my god, so many, so many grass patches. And now we can talk to this lady. And we can open up this uh, barricade. So Captain Mallow's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. And I think Lush Jungle is the place where we're gonna be getting our final team member. I'm pretty sure. So that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.